What's going on, everybody? It's that time. It's time for a head-to-head -head creeper in the ecto. Been preparing for this for a little while now. Um, just decided to do a voiceover so that I could concentrate on the driving here and try to make everything as fair as possible. So I'll chime in here and there with any comments on what's going on and uh see what happens i will say it was uh it was an interesting day in the pit but, so as far as uh preparation for creeper goes uh it's been a tow rig for a good while now um, it hasn't even seen most of the obstacles in the pit uh, since it's been a tow rig so it hasn't really had a fighting chance at crawling most of this um, so I tore it back down and put it back into crawl mode I took all the added weight off the front end of it uh, I made some shock adjustments and I mounted up all the high racks back on a set of my heavier wheels and threw on it. Um, honestly, I think that that's about it. But that took a little bit longer than uh, one would expect. <laughs> Six wheels and tires adds a little bit of time. Nevertheless, uh, it's a capable rig. Uh, it was always my most capable uh, before Ecto came along and before I put it into tow mode. So just dropping off the current champ right now. I guess that's the perks of being the champ. You get toted around on the cart. You don't have to drive all the way across the pasture dodging cow patties. We'll uh, get into the action here and see how it goes. In this corner, previous champion of the pit, before it was even the pit, TRX-6 Creeper. And in this corner, your current pit champion, Ecto. Let the battle begin. Figured we'll do this about like I did the element or the Ecto versus the Wraith battles that I've had before uh, we'll have one rig lead the way across an obstacle and then the uh, other rig will follow behind it and we'll just kind of alternate who goes first this little elevated obstacle here it's nothing difficult but it's pretty tight quarters and even as small and nimble as the ecto is it still takes some uh three plus point turns to get turned around Kind of thinking that I need to build some wings off of the outside corners of this thing so that I have a little bit more uh, turnaround room. Initially, I built this obstacle to be like a climb up on it, pick your line, go across it, and get back off of it, but I don't have very many uh, 
obstacles overall built up here in the pit yet so i feel like it's a waste if you just hit it once and climb over it and move on per usual acto makes pretty quick work and on to the next it's been probably minimum six months probably longer since uh creepers been on high racks this thing uh it was it was uh it was quite the beast here when i got back into the hobby again uh a little over a year ago now I got out of it for a few years, but dove back in, and this TRX-6 was the first rig that I bought, so I went all out with it, uh, for my standards anyways, and built it up as a crawler. It did very well. I was very much surprised with its capabilities i hadn't had a six by six before and uh once i started getting other rigs and making them more capable uh creeper just kind of got left behind as a trail truck and then once i built the trailer it got turned into a tow rig and that was pretty much all she wrote so I figured it was time to go ahead and put it back into crawl mode and bring it out of retirement and see if it could show young blood here what's up. Now for this whole competition, I left all of the diffs locked the whole time and this thing has got a uh, a very large turnaround radius so you pretty much got to austin powers the thing around i thought about speeding up the video through some of these turnarounds and whatnot but i figure since i'm doing this voiceover i'll just let it play through Aside from the extended turnaround, that yeah, creeper moves on nicely. This here's another section that's not difficult by any means. Uh, just a nice little rock section get your flex on and if you're not careful you can get hung up in some spots here obviously but it's not difficult this was actually the first section that i actually built uh, up here in the pit last year at the time it seemed like a good place to start but now that i've been building around it it's just kind of an oddball location go up and over the bridge zero issues
I had thought about putting some gate markers up, but I wasn't sure exactly which obstacles I was wanting to hit. And I didn't know what order I was gonna wanna hit them in. So I haven't I haven't done the the gates for any of the other matchups. So I just figured I'd go ahead and forego that on this one as well. I've uh, driven every obstacle out here so many times. I'm pretty decent at hitting a consistent line with different rigs on the same obstacle. You know, it may be off by an inch or two, but other than that, I'm trying to keep them as close as possible. I will say Ecto having the tighter turning radius definitely helped out on this corner here. This is the line that I usually take with all of the rigs, but yeah, I just figured I'd see what Creeper could do instead of doing another three-point turn. jumping right in the hard line. Figured I'd let this one set the tone for the rest of the match. And if you've been here before, I don't mean in person, I just mean to the channel and watched any of the videos, chances are you've seen Ecto make this climb at least once or twice. Uh, it's uh, it's an interesting line. It does not look like much at all on camera. Uh, but I assure you, this one is a tricky one. And currently up until this exact moment right here, Ecto is the only rig to make it from the bottom all the way to the top up there by the electric reel. Well, the bottom section there that he just did was tricky and challenging. This section here is what really separates the rigs. Let's transition onto the concrete here is I'm not going to say vertical because it's not vertical but with that little dip in the middle there it's pretty close and Ecto clears it and here we come in with Creeper like I said the last time it was up here crawling, none of this was here. Now, I've tried with the toe setup, I've tried to climb this and it was just not happening at all. So I was real curious to see how it would do back on its crawling setup, for lack of a better term. So far, it's doing much better than it had previously. Getting over this little log right here is very tricky. Where his back tire is going over that little nub right there, it's pretty much a guarantee if you can't get over the log either on that nub or to the left of the nub you're not getting over it it'll kick you off to the right um, i've just i've tried to hit that at every different possible angle you know just to the right of that little nub there with multiple rigs and it's just not it's not doable 
So we had our first rollover. Um, I didn't really have any rules set planned out, but I figured, you know, regardless of the rig that takes a wipe out, they ought to get at least two tries at it. So figured I'd take a tighter line up the log here. Try to ride that upper root a little bit further. Just barely caught that nub with the front rear axle and then the rear rear axle actually rode right up over it. So I got pretty lucky on that one. But the lack of turning radius kind of screwed me on the approach to the upper section. Uh, there's a heck of an undercut on that giant rock there in the center. Come up to the concrete here. And this is pretty much as far as it's made it before. Like I said, this rig isn't the, uh, the most capable crawler. It's pretty good, but I don't have the suspension set up specifically for crawling so it unloads pretty easily as you can see and that there actually surprised me that is the furthest that this one's ever made it so I'm really focused here at this point in time trying to get that front end back over situations like this is why I didn't talk while I was recording the video I just figured I'd wait and talk over the video afterwards but this is a pretty sticky situation here it's a uh, it's a pretty good tumble from this particular spot it is so close to crest in the top right there but I'm hung up on both of the rear axles on the one concrete pillar it just can't pull itself up over I'm trying to find any grip that I can on that stump it's just not working out so I decided I'd try to suck the front end back over to the other side almost got it there but my tire got pinched right there in between the two concrete pillars so it didn't really have a choice I gotta gotta try to reset here A real fine line of resetting and then going too far once you drop your rear axle off of that middle section between the concrete pillars and the concrete blocks there you're pretty much starting over from square one right here it looks like i finally have a good hook bam crested the top creeper is now officially the second rig that has ever made it from bottom to top. I was I was really excited there. I honestly didn't think that that was doable, especially not for this truck. So at this point, I mean this is this is a lot closer of a competition than I thought it was going to be, that's for sure. I'd also thought about cutting out a lot of this in between the obstacles driving 
but I figured I'd leave at least some of it in there. Uh, you know, this isn't a, a traditional crawler comp. I'm not running gates. Uh, this is more of a who's the best in the pit situation. And part of being the best in the pit is navigating the entire pit. So, did my best to make it, you know, entertaining, but also show what's actually going on. And part of what goes on here is me stumbling, trying to keep my footing on the sides of these hills. There's been quite a few times where I have more trouble getting up these obstacles than what the trucks do. Whether it's mud after a rain or, you know, these none of these rocks are concreted in at this point. Eventually, I would like them to be, but I also want them to sit in place for a couple years and make sure that they're good and locked in before I make it permanent and make sure that I like the setup. But on top of that, you know, it's a gravel pit, so it's gravelly, sandy hills all the way around the bowl so it's hard to keep your footing regardless this little section here is another kind of deceiving section it doesn't look like much on camera but that transition there from rocks to tree roots and then to loose dirt up top it, it's definitely not easy I've had conversations with people about tires more times than I can count. Uh, I used to be a high racks guy 100% a few years ago, uh, up until probably about a year ago. Um, but I think that this comparison right here really shows kind of where my mind's at on the topic currently. We've got six Predator compound high racks that are fighting to bite as good as four Predator compound crawlers. Uh, I've, I've heard people, you know, they love the crawlers. And there's an equal amount of people that say that they they're not as good as high racks or they're not as good as something else but those are hands down the best performing crawler tire that i have tried so far uh, i have not tried ruptures or tusks but for a good while you know high racks were the like the staple and that, that is not the case for me, at least in my area with my terrain. I think until something else comes into my possession one way or another, uh, I'm a crawler guy now. Those tires are awesome. This truck here has just blown me away from day one. 
I've had TRX-4s, I've had SCX-10s, uh, I've Red Cats, I've, I've had a little bit of everything, and this Element Ecto right here is just mind-blowing how much performance you can get out of it with very little modification. This climb right here is the OG line of the pit. Before I built my first obstacle up here, this was one of the few spots where there was a legitimate line to climb. But you could never get past this notch in the tree. And I'm here to tell you that that little transition into the notch there's not a whole lot of rigs that can do that. But once I put this slide here, uh, it just made that, that tree climb so much more fun. It's, it's, that's not a line that you can really crawl and get all the way into the notch and then back, back down it. Uh, I mean, it's doable, but it's it's not fun but the climb itself you, you got to be on your game for this one and your rig's got to be set up at least halfway decent to make that transition right there Aside from the one rollover and a couple tire slips here and there, I'm very surprised at how close this competition is so far. I really thought that Ecto was just going to walk away with it. So, as surprised as I was at how even they were, I decided just to go ahead and hit this contraption. And I thought for sure that there's no way that the creeper's going to make this one. And it just walked right up it. You want to talk about mind blown? I didn't see that one coming. Now aside from the top end of hard line, this climb right here is... It's got to be the hardest one I've got in the pit right now. And I think most of that's got to do with how slick the wood is, which is why I've put little pieces of grip tape up it. Uh, but a, a good portion of those pieces have fallen off. And it's still, you still get into some slippery holes. And if you're not 100% on your mark, on where you're, what line you're taking like I just did right there uh, it could put an end to your climb real quick uh, I can't really fault Ecto for that one that was 100% my line choice right there uh, in my last video um, where I took Ecto out and took it up this obstacle 
just a couple days ago. Uh, or actually, I guess that would have technically been yesterday for me. Um, it walked right up it just like Creeper did. But what I will say is there's not too many rigs that would get this far out of shape on this obstacle and still be able to come back to finish it. So even though it was a botched climb, the fact that it saved its climb <laughs> from falling off the side a couple times, that's a couple points in my book there for this thing. couldn't have a competition without hitting this little obstacle. I initially put this together just because I wanted the staircase, the straight staircase to climb, and then I needed a way off of it, so I just literally threw crap together. I had zero intentions on leaving it there because I had other stuff I wanted to do with those center blocks but that turned out to be such a fun little line that it's just kind of stayed <laughs> back to the can't fault a vehicle for the driver taking a bad line this right here was 100 percent on me uh, i let it pull just a little bit too far to the right and it got out of shape really quick this is a pretty narrow obstacle so there's not a whole lot of wiggle room kind of forced to crest that peak off to the passenger side of the vehicle because of the one flat piece of concrete there. I don't care how much ground clearance you got or if you got portals or straight axles, you have to go off to the right in order to get around that. But Creeper gained its control back and went right on over without an issue. This little spot right here is another one of those where, you know, it's, it's not super difficult, but you gotta be on your game with exact tire placement if you wanna crawl it smooth and in one shot. Everything has to be just perfect. You'll, uh, you'll get hung up on your rear links on that first ledge right there. And then, you know, once you start moving your front end around, your tire placement's going to be all off going up these two verticals here. It don't take much to get back on course, though. This rig right here is 
out of all the rigs that I have, it has got the absolute lowest ground clearance. It's a straight axle rig and it is lowered as low as I can get it with what I've got on hand anyways. Um, and I even made my own shock towers for it so that I could have a little bit more adjustability in my upper shock mounting locations. It don't sit very far off the ground at all. But the competition's been so close. I, I don't know what else to do other than go to the big tree. Um, this was part of the deciding factor when uh, I did the Ecto versus the Wraith competition. And the Wraith was actually running four of the tires that are currently on Creeper. And just getting up to this point on this tree is a challenge for anything other than Ecto. Uh, it's partially gotta be these tires. They work on everything. It don't matter if they're caked in mud or if they're completely soaking wet they just they work and there's a lot of high spots uh on top of this log here where you know bark or knots in the tree whatever there's a lot of diff hangers all the way up this thing and not a lot of room to go around them so you've got to be very deliberate with your tire placement Unfortunately, I don't know how much longer that this climb is going to be here because, as you can see, this tree is rotting quickly. And other people who have been out here have done a lot of digging right there because of that knot. So all of this reddish chewed up tree there is because of uh, tire spin. I don't know how much more of it it's going to be able to take before it just completely disintegrates. Right here's one of the spots where I really wanted to just speed the video up. Uh, I couldn't find a spot where I could get the drag brake to hold. Uh, and I've been burnt on this tree climb before with the truck rolling backwards and this is a very steep part of the hill for me to get up so having that thing locked in is kind of important so that's kind of what's going on right now it's not me trying to progress i'm just trying to get it to sit so that i can get up there and it's not easy <laughs> but after a slip, a fall, and a couple thorns in my arm, we can go ahead and finish this one off. This right here is one of the spots in the pit where it absolutely pays to be narrow. That little catwalk bar or whatever you want to call it a yellow piece of expanded metal it uh it's not very wide and uh i can tell you right now that anything with uh capra axles is going to be hanging off of both sides of it now right here this is this is a combo of issues uh, one being tires. The higher racks just don't want to grab very well on this thing. But two, I left the hitch in the creeper here. Uh, as far out as it sticks, it honestly doesn't catch on a whole lot. Uh, but it just happened to catch part of a knot in the root right there. So it took a little bump to get up over it. And 
climbing up this tree it's definitely helpful to have portals uh the diff hangers are a lot less of an issue but they also don't guarantee that you're going to make it either That's a pretty cool little transition in a tree where I'm assuming when it fell, it actually fell on top of another tree here and it, it broke in half. So there's a little bit of a gap that you gotta traverse right there and it's off camber. It's a pretty cool little section. Luckily, and I, and I really don't like giving props to Hobby Wing just because of certain things that you can and cannot program with their setups. But this uh, axe system that's in here, uh, it, it does have one hell of a drag brake. I will give them that. And like I said about the diff hangers and portals, <laughs> I, I had to back up right there because uh, I got hung up. That uh, knot in that tree is no joke. You got to get way off to the side to get around it. And it's a long fall from the top. Yet again, I was absolutely surprised at the performance of Creeper today. I, I wouldn't have thought in a million years that it would have done this well. Um, especially going up against the Ecto. So I'm uh, not sure how to call this one. It was very close, and I'm honestly not biased at all when it comes to who is the champion of the pit, because as of right now, these are my two favorite rigs for completely different reasons, but regardless, two favorite rigs, hands down. I really wish that videos would show the whole scope of the situation here. That is a long way down and it is steep. So, like I said, I'm not sure how to call this one. Um, both of the rigs did very well. Uh, one of them absolutely should have and the other one had no business being that good so i'm gonna leave this up to you guys um you tell me who won being that i was a driver i feel like i know who won but uh leave a comment below who's the champion i'll see y'all in the next one